Your jacket? She had a bullhorn. Going, oh, yeah. you a hoe! Yeah. And the girl oh, finally yeah, just she went. She dragged it, dog. Yeah, she yeah, she dragged it. Dragged yeah, it. You see Andy Cohen? No! Right yeah, no! Man, you hyped all this up, B. Good job, Andy. Yeah. yeah somebody get paid. Yeah, somebody you know. get paid. I'd sue. I, I don't think I they should fire them. I would. Yeah, they shouldn't fire them, though, but I would sue them. That's rating. Somebody yeah. get a certain prestige and they attack me. Yeah, I'm sorry. You gotta pay me. Yeah, Eminem yeah, punch me. I'm real now. Pay me, y'all. Pay me, I'll shut up. Me you know what I'm saying? Pay me out of court. Give yeah, me a little. Mike, know? bust me in the face. All that. Good. Nah, wow, I may not survive. Drop it. Yo, they <laughs> dropping. Oh, wow. I'm trying, trying to, to say you do ass. Yo, the algorithm is going to be ass. I'll do it for the ass. I'll do it for the ass. I'll do it for the ass. Y'all been leaving this chest smelling all kind of ways, man. I hate going like that. You can't just wash your butt when you get in the chair, man. What's that? He's pointing at me. I'm like, I got OCD. I'm like, I did it. This is why when we yeah, come back from the conversions, we get all crazy. Maybe yeah, even chest smelling all funky, man, whatever. That meant bad. Mm. Let's do this. I don't even know. I'd like to ask you a few questions. What do you mean? Oh, it's a banaka. You want that ax flavor? It's the old the rage of friends. Oh, God. You can't get up on that ace with toy right there. Anybody ain't catch that, but Jen was on it, yo. Ace? She said all she had to say. Yeah, we told him to die. So as soon as I said, I'd like to ask you a few questions. She jumped right on it. Anything that, with me, honestly, Real talk, man. I saw Yo, a lot of kids. Here? I saw a lot of kids do the wrong thing. Yeah, I was born. Word. So was I. Yeah, that's called old man. I yes, it's called everybody. My mother told me it means you're intelligent, my my, my love. Bad. I'm very intelligent. Very old. <laughs> Luddy's dudes, yo. Luddy's dudes. These my brothers right Let's here. Let's do this. Two thirty nine. Set with a bullet. S. <clears throat> All right, seg two, <clears throat> part one, uh, take one. <laughs> Welcome back to Shop Talk. <laughs> we got our boy, JQ. What's up, fellas? That's that Remo of the Matrix. <sighs> Keanu, right? Yo, there's something so wrong with you, man. That's all I can say. But when he came out the Matrix, when he yeah, figured it yeah, out, yeah. he was like, <laughs> no. <laughs> you know what? This topic, yeah. I, I want to know what is yeah. going to change you because nothing has changed you already. So I want to. You know what, no, man? No, hold up. Can, we, can we get I, to? I, can we get to I, the guest? All right, what's up, JQ? JQ, what Chuck you got going on, man? You trying to skip me, you, man? Big me. You know what I'm saying? That's my man. This dude is our internet extraordinaire dude, man. He killing all the internet for us. Mega splash. Yeah, Facebook, uh, webcast, everything. Shop talk. Help me out with spamming, man. Um, on Twitter, all that. Yeah, I gotta get up on the Twitter now. I think I think I gotta yeah. finally get catch him at oldmanfreaky.com. You know what I'm saying? Y'all see how he do me. <laughs> it is what it is, baby. Shadow Bunny. It gave you know Big saying? Freaky. Yeah. All right, what you got going on, man? Uh, Chuck Town Custom Sneakers. Y'all check it out. Fan page. All that's there. Google me. Um, stay tuned for posts on the Shop Talk <laughs> fan page also. Feed y'all some of that stuff too. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, and first of all, y'all are not ready. When y'all go to Chuck Town Customs, if you've never been there, yeah. y'all ain't ready for what y'all want yeah. to say. Yeah, yeah. Y'all, I'm telling you, you're not ready. I'm you're just not saying, ready. I'm just saying, if you like sneakers, go to that page. Like period. Sneakers. That's all we're gonna say is go to that page. I'm gonna go to that page. Yeah. I like yeah. sneakers. Yo, what can you do with a size 15 and a half? Give it back. It doesn't matter. All right. Even a second, give me something like that. Is that? Oh. Cost me more. No, no, no. That's right. like a lot of extra material. Really? <laughs> 15. Those joints is like this big, dude. They are not that big. All right. So go, please go to Chucktown Customs. Check out what this brother is doing. Yeah, he's got okay, some amazing stuff. We got our own shoe, Shop Talk shoe. Yes. It's, it's awesome. He always he never brings it. But Look, because the shoe don't really, like, I put it on the internet. If you go to our site, I'll be throwing it on the internet. All right. Everybody we'll knows that. Up okay, I'll put it up there again because I had a nice shot with it with some Magnum ice cream. It was awesome. With some two, Magnum? <laughs> yeah, two of the great things in life. Shop Talk and Magnum Double Caramel. Holla. 
All right, man. So so today's topic, man, and, and shout shout out to Mo. Shout Mo out show. to Mo always, Mo baby. Show. Looking forward to Mo, Mo, Mo Show. Mo Show. Mo Show. Mo show. Looking forward to working with you. Yeah. All right. So today's topic is what what thing, what event, what person, what helped you to mature in, in the where you are today? <laughs> what anything, what incident, what in your life? Can you think of anything that kind of helped, or was it just very incremental, very gradual? Was there any one thing that stood out among others? You know, my dad had a huge influence on me throughout growing up. And I would say it's incremental, you know, I can remember everything. You know, he, he passed away about a year and a half ago. So sorry, sorry. sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, uh, I do miss you know, his words and advice, but reflecting upon him is what, it, what helps me a lot. Word, that's deep, man. Yeah, stop that's and think deep. about it for a minute while we talk on this show. Often, often, often yeah. about taking care of your kids, being yeah. in the kids' life. Don't just send some diapers or food, but really spend time in your kids' life. This is a perfect example yeah. of why it's important. Uh, and and, and, and that's Remo, myself, man, we didn't always have that. And so yeah. this is the product of he didn't have to go wayward and go yeah. so bad to, to finally say his was more incremental. And, and I, I'm just going to assume, and I don't know, but as you got older, the things your father said made more and more and more sense to you. And and that when he was no longer here, it made even more sense. And you appreciate You know what I mean? More. You appreciate him even more. Not, not saying you didn't appreciate him, but you miss him because you realize he was exactly. really dropping you jewels your entire life. And that's something that we didn't have. And I think... It's why it's near and dear to all three of us as parents. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but, check this. This is how you're going to appreciate your pops. My pops had absolutely nothing to do with nothing in my whole life. Touché. Thanks, Dad. Touché. But nothing. Yeah. You know same, what I'm saying? Same here, so you can appreciate your pops more. I mean, my pops was that dude that. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, you get it? Get it? That, my yeah. pops was this dude. Dude, I saw my pops yeah. on the corner with fire and a drum drinking with the wine owners. Wow. Mm, yeah. My deep. father was that dude, but he didn't know me. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, he wasn't wow. in my life. Yeah, I just drove him. by. I didn't tell any kids on the that's my father, that 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 six foot six bum or whatever. It, I didn't see anything. I because I realized that he wasn't in my life like that. When I got older and became a ball player and got popular and stuff like that, he came by the house. I, I really didn't have any words for him. You know what I mean? I'm always grown now. You know what I'm saying? And and Remo yeah. can can second that. So absolutely yeah. The fact that you give homage to your father for changing your life, man, for changing your suck. life, and for continuing to change your life because you continue to reflect on his influence in your life, man, that is so big. So yeah. for all these young brothers out here that got kids and you're fighting with their mom, for some reason you're letting that be an excuse. They don't do that, man. Dude, you was kind of getting to preach more. Yeah, it, it, yeah. I, I thought you was gonna be like, "Ha, shimmy the you was killing him for a minute, dog. Well, you know what? You heard him? Well, you already you already know how I feel about this topic. Mm -hmm. So I will preach when it comes to that. <laughs> That's right. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. If you got a kid, yes. who's going to take care of your kid? That's what I'm saying now. Yeah, the government should be taking care uh -huh. of your kid. That is your child. Uh -huh. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Your, who's going to take care of your uh -huh. kid? You Praise made God. it. Oh, Lord. Take care of him. That's right. Now, forget Speak all that nonsense. Speak on, my brother. Forget the nonsense with the baby Hey, mother. yo, Chuck. Oh, he just messed the moment. <laughs> <up>. <laughs> oh, boy, that was, just I was zoning with him. I was zoning with you. I was with you, though. Yeah, you felt me? I was with you, though. Yeah, like, yo, check them, no. <laughs> yes. I could, I could the rhythm, the rhythm, you know what I mean? I yeah. I'll throw it down your throat, Mike Barkley. Huh? My fault. I felt that kind of thing. Yeah, but the, the, the point is, that yeah. was, that yeah. was a, a big moment in your life. Um, it, it, it was a lot of teacher moments. Uh, yes. I don't have a son, but my daughter constantly tells me, Daddy, I think more like you every day. I act more That's like you uh, every I used day. I say that same thing to my yeah. dad. Yeah. Yeah. You know what happened to me, man? Real talk. Like, I had gotten in trouble. It wasn't nothing I did, but that don't really matter in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Nah, nah. And, trouble, um, trouble. Yeah, like, yo, I was in real, like, vibe yeah. forever and ever. You know it's what I'm saying? Some yeah, stuff. some real bad stuff. And I was like, you know what? Yo, if I get a chance to not be this deep, I'm out. And that was it for me, man. Real talk. Because it wasn't, I didn't do anything, but it doesn't matter when you're doing dumb things and not listening to your parents and just 
running wild. You gotta listen to your. Well, people. you weren't doing the right thing. Yeah, I well, was doing you were the, the worst wrong kid, thing. but you was, you weren't doing the right things. Yeah, you know what? And and thank you. You've been a wonderful yeah. guest. I really appreciate that one thing, which was so <laughs> huge and, and monumental. Yeah. Right. And when we come back, mm -hmm. I'll tell y'all what influenced me. Mm -hmm. We appreciate it. What goes you up? All right, man? I'm straight, bro. You show? Sure? Must yeah. go down. Shut down. Down. Praise we God. It. We'll be back in a Praise minute. God. Hey, yo, Jeff. <laughs> right here. Yes. On. The rim of the rebel. Shout out. <laughs> 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 yo, I thought you were going to say it, but I'm like, I'm going to sideline. I can't. Uh, if you're seeing you it for the that. first time, like, hey, yo, Jeff, he was time. Like, ready to just bust the door. Yo, this is what we do. Oh, Seven man. years. Radio. Suckers never play me. I started. Jay, can you get me on this one? I got a cut. Go in the mix. You broke up in 2000. Oh, I heard what them boys did to you, man. Hold up. What? No, I don't oh, put it Jay. on camera. I don't even want to know. No, I don't Jay, know. Whatever Jay. it is, don't talk about it. We don't. We don't know worldwide. Because right. <laughs> right. you ready. You ready. You ready. I, no, I helped. Thank you. See, look. Hold on. This is yes. all what we do, but it's also a lot of laughs we have. Strictly the rhythm, the rebel, the rebel, the pause, and Lord Terminator X. Oh, shit. I think we started to Shoot so loose, electric wire, simple and plain. Give me the lane. I'll throw it down your throat like Barkley. You see my car keys, you'll never get. You wasn't ready for that? This was, hey, I'm tech. This was, this was seven years, man. Okay. Next bus. You said short and anti, man. I'm trying to tell you. Uh, was I in the when you started this? I think so. Nah. All right, last segment. Let's get it. You sure? The closer. So seven hey, yo, years, man. Yo, dude that was up here, what was it? First floor? First, first floor, floor. First floor. First floor. First, it, it's flow. Y'all don't know. Accents, though. Accents. I'm thinking they say the flow. Yeah, I thought it was FMO. Oh, it's a country. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Instead of saying floor, he's saying first flow. And then it's a double meaning. Oh. Feel flow, flow, flow. Double aesthetic to it. Yo, like Rumman. 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 Y'all ready for him to grab his feet, man? Yeah. That's why we be laughing so uh, much. Uh, don't do you hurt yourself, man. You're way too old for that, man. Way too Terminator old. Terminator X! <laughs> wow. That man just got a back spasm. Yeah, that's what happened, baby. That's what happened. All right, 239 is closed, the jacket. There's no power in that move, man. Just want you to know. Crazy. Yeah. Just the new one. She feel it. It's that new no. one. Just trying to see if I got something in there. I think I got a little bit. Do your um, shirt dirty back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Chill, chill. Like, hey, look, I'm good. He just trying to slaughter me right now. I know I'm good. So I ain't even got to dignify it. I ain't even got to dignify it. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm good. I'm good. You got to find a suspect. Like, no, he he said, no, no, back. I don't need no, him. No, I do not know him. First of all, no, you do need one. Why don't like listen right now? No, I don't see. It's not on here. It's not on there. Listen, listen. I hope you got a subject because you got something else. fresh. I'm good. How long you had that? About 20, About 30 20. years. No. All right. No. Do you sure they dirty back? Nah. <laughs> you know? Nah, yeah. I know I'm good. I ain't got to dig the body. I'm just saying, I don't, to I don't want you to use that stuff curling around. <laughs> hey, look. Yo, 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 TV land. Yo, they got ass. All right, come on. Stop, let's stop. Let's stop. Let's stop. They got to go. I'm sorry, sorry. We got to go, man. We get off topic really quick. Yeah, we got to go. All right. 239. Let's finish it out. All right. Seg three. Yeah. Close. Yeah. Take one. Yeah. Welcome back to Shop Talk. Yeah. We got our boy Remo, the lyricist in the house. What's so up, Remo? They eight. conquered our father with rum, religion, and guns. The ham sandwich was an interesting touch. A season of deal with strength in the clutch. The devil had on your neck. You saw that it's real, but didn't mention it much. Ooh. You know what I mean? My dude came up Ooh. here. Big shot the first flow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's got yeah. me so, so hot that I yeah. had to kick a kick a little, little, little eight yeah. four bar yeah. trunk. Y'all gotta check out the, the, the web boy. joint, B. Mm -hmm. no, the you web know, joint, B. You, you need to give us, uh, give us something more. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sure. Awesome. Yeah. You, know, you know I got it all the time. R E I N O 718. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So uh, thank you for coming by. As Absolutely. always, you're a part of the family. We appreciate you. All right, so let's let's talk. We I like what JQ said. 
uh, what was instrumental. Uh, I like what First Flow said. What singular thing, what series of things, what changed you, help you mature, help you see things in a more positive light, uh, to where you are today? Well, first and foremost, shout out for saying uh, uh, not just singular, but several things. I want to say three things. Number one, my father wasn't prevalent in my life at all. Mm -hmm. He died when I was 12, very abusive, very drug oriented. I am a product of the New York City drug scene in the 80s, early 90s. I'm living proof of that. Um, but the things that changed my life forever and will continue to change my life my education, I went to college, mm -hmm. having children means more than me in my life. Man. And most importantly, uh, un subconsciously, I started to do some of the things that will be into me once I have my kids. Mm -hmm. Not on that same scale, but once my kids were old enough to tell me, hey, daddy, I don't, I don't like this, I don't like that, I had to take a step back and think about it. And it, it, it made me almost like that trapped little boy again begging for help. So when they told me the things that they don't like that I do, I immediately cut it out immediately. Okay. That's what's up, man. Sometimes yeah. the negative things from your childhood will mm -hmm. help you be a better person. You can use that. You don't have to use that to perpetuate the same type of behavior. Yeah. You can use it to say, I don't want to be that guy or that person, or, you know, that my mother or my father was. So it is what it is. If, 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 it, if you need that or use that, same here. Uh, my father wasn't around. He died. My step, I had a stepfather for a few years, and he was a really good man. And I didn't appreciate him till he was born mm -hmm. uh, early in my teenage years. So uh, looking back, I realized what an amazing person he was to take on the, the, the number of kids my mom had, and he never grumbled by that. So and he really showed me uh, how to be a, a man and take care of family. So even though he was with us only for a few short years, that was that influence. And and I want to give a big shout out to my mother. Who is yeah, she cool. uh, she's an amazing person yeah, mom, cool. uh, and my grandmother god rest her she was my pastor coming up my mother was a pastor for 18 years and they instilled some good things in me it didn't always start off right and when i was a teenager i did everything i could i got in all kinds of trouble but at some point i went into my grandmother's study in the church she asked me if i was on drugs i immediately said no and then i paused and I said, well, well, yes, ma'am. You know, I do take drugs. And 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 she didn't she didn't scold me or get on me. She just said, I thought so. And then probably a few months after that, weeks after that, we were sitting one day, and I never get she looked at me and she said, I'm so disappointed. She said, I really thought you were gonna do something and be somebody. And I didn't say anything, but the little boy in me wanted to say, but I'm only 15. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. you're talking like my life is over. I can change. And, and so it was that pivotal moment that made me say, listen, I got my grandmother, who I know is an amazing person, uh, a woman of faith, and my mother thinking that I made my choice. Now, maybe she was just gaming me. You know no, what I'm saying? She was you know, yeah, and, was and it worked. Thank you, yeah. Granny. But yeah, I changed me. after that. I began to go more toward the more positive influences. And so. What, what I like to add on to that is they planted the seeds for the next stage in my man's life over here. And uh, uh, thank you guys for doing that because um, just just the way he came into my life was kind of a blessing. And I'm glad it happened. And big Brother Smith here. Um, I would like to say two, three word phrases, and that is breaking the chains and changing the mold. And that was really. Milk the cow. <laughs> Sorry, y'all know we was doing a lot of time, my baby. My but bad. honestly, Sorry. honestly, in, Sorry. In, in my life, my father had 19 uh, boys and girls, and I'm the first male in my family's genealogy to have a bachelor's degree. That's so what's that's up, baby. very, yeah. very important. I know I joke a that's, lot, that's that a is great very thing. important to me, and that's something I'm going to continue to teach my sons, that education is paramount. Yeah, that's very a big important. deal, dude. Um, and, and, and also... The fact that my kids, I want them to be able to talk to them. I was afraid to talk to my father. You know, he would call my name from outside and my heart would immediately start to beat. So I want my kids to be able to tell me their innermost secrets and fears and when they need to, they you know. Happen. Well, I mean, certain, happen. certain things, <laughs> certain things with that, that I could never, and still to this day, because I have a man in my life, certain things I can't speak to to certain people. 
I want, I, I want my son to at least be able to open up to me. You, you might get some. You yeah. might get some, but hey, you're look, not going to get them. Not the innermost corner. Yeah. That's okay. Not but that as, long as, you get some. as long as I can get some, because my yeah. father didn't even try to give us none. My yeah, brother, you get some. shout to Unique. He was a great guest on this show previously. He, yeah, he told yeah, me one time. He told me one time, man? and this broke my heart. He said, I don't ever remember having one solitary conversation with our father, and that struck me. I didn't have a, a lot myself. I have a lot of scars and bruises that the man left. But breaking the chain changes the mold is what I'm all about cow, today. Milking the cow, water top, my slippery dame. You understand? I still don't know what the slippery dame is. I don't know what I'm milking the cow is. Hey, look. That's getting milk. Water top. <laughs> water top. <laughs> right? That's just getting milk. Milking the cow. Hey, look. Yo, don't, don't talk too long. Don't talk too often, man. <laughs> Try to stay silent. <laughs> See that one? Don't, don't talk too much. He said, don't talk too much. What? Hello? Hello? You got me hey, yo, Chuck! <laughs> we three are changing the world from the men to the you know, I got to say, that's more important than anything else. I know, like, I, I told y'all my situation, but, yo, I just really wanted to get out the hood. Like, I was me always too. scared. Me too. Yeah. Like, it's a bad, like, I, I give a shout-out to all the ladies that do it by themselves, the fathers that do it by themselves, the people who try to get to a better life. Because I'm telling you, I hated being in those situations where everybody's depressed and mad. Right. When the summer comes, somebody getting shot. I just, I wanted to get out. You know what I'm saying? And and I, I tell everybody, the way to break the chain is like Remo said, like Big Freaky said, like Corey said, like JQ said, Yo, you just gotta do better and believe that the Lord gonna help you out, man. We can't be living like this, man. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. See, I love the joke. See, but I, I, I'm glad you said it, but I can't count on you. I, I don't know when you're going to say something that's uh, important. That was good. Look, milking the cow is like definitely for, for sustenance. Trust me, I hang out with them. Like, it's it's drinking like, like you, know, you say something goodness. like that when you give and bother to the show, and then you come up with milking the cow. But, and broke his whole moment. <laughs> go, Remo! Go, Remo! Also, TV Lane, don't use previous excuses as the reason why you can't succeed. No. Yeah, you know, none of us yeah, use 239, yo. It's in your yeah, mind. Absolutely. Tell yourself that you can do it and push to do it, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. From going to school, doing well in school, getting educated, yeah, I'm doing well in my career. Me. I never let the things, the negative things, influence me to where I was looking toward them. Uh, everybody, shout out to everybody back in Jayville. Y'all know. Poorest of the poor, you know what I'm saying? My house set, it was a shack, straight, living in a shack. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm in a three-story joint. College of shacks, man. Shout out to the Bronx. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the Bronx. We lived on the steps. Oh, your joint is on the chain, too, We lived on the steps. I'm telling everybody that. the steps, TV Land. Yeah. We lived on the steps. But we work hard. Yeah, we work hard. But now we work hard. You know what I mean? We're trying hard. to be positive role models for our kids. Yeah, for everybody. I'm, I'm glad that my daughter is a uh, shout out to to RJ and Amber, my That's son and law, my daughter. Yeah. They're doing their thing. It's, it's, it's young, yuppie. Young. Love to my whole family, man. Y'all know what it is. I love y'all. And man. keep up the hard work. I see you out there. Munchy, man, man. I used to live on. I used to live in the steps. No, 239, B. What I goes up must go down. Must go Wanna down. Die on the slimy dimey. Yo, the right And yo, those who are in that yeah, first time. time, second time. Yeah, I love y'all. Yo, we love y'all. Yeah, we're just getting started. Yo, we're going to grow up. Milk the cow and all that. Milk in the Wild cow. Time, yeah. baby. We'll see y'all next time right here on. Oh, yeah. Shop <laughs> 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 like, I still be like, yo, how do you speak? You know what TV and I'm on with them. I love them, y'all. By the time on the slimy, my dad. Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, my dude. Why the time? Hey, look, why the time, my dad? You know what I'm saying? Why the time? Now, and I only saw the movie roulette. one time. Man, roulette. Oh, oh man. Man. Put it back in there. Uh, yeah. yeah. nah, he was yeah. like, yeah. 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 somebody yeah. sat on top of that. Ask me. Ask me. Ask me. We got flavors called Ask me. The last person that was sitting in before y'all saw it was uh <laughs> your boy first ball. But <laughs> we go yo first ball. Right, so let's go. It's so a week. Let's call Rodney. Yeah. Right. Let's, let's everybody get in before we For sign off. Oh, yeah, just just get in. No, we got to do the video real quick. Right. Let's well, go. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Okay. Yes. So Want to tie on the dummy, my dummy? <laughs> my dummy. <laughs> All right. So the day was the inaugural. Inaugural. The inaugural shoot uh, of Shop Talk. Shop Talk. Yeah, there's so much more to come. Real Mike's. We've been doing this for uh, next month, be seven Real years. Wow. 200 and, I mean, 50,000 shows. 39 shows. So this is yeah. what we do. We're not some cats just coming up. 
This is what we've been doing. This is a TV show here locally in Charleston, South Carolina, but now we're broadcasting to the rest of the world. That's what's up. That's what's up. Get ready to light it up, baby. There's nobody talking about what Literally. we're talking about, the way yeah. we talk about it, doing what we do, how we do it. This is how we do it. It's called Shop Talk. Get at us. Get at us. Come on. Get at us. Yeah, yo, uh, and stay so tuned for our app. That most we got our app coming up. Download our app so you're ready to catch these shows right. on your phone. I'm Smith right. the Man, baby. PC, aka Big Freaky, baby. R E I M O, aka Remo the Lyricist. And J Kill. Of course. Splash Sneak. One time, my baby. You understand? One time. Me and we out. Anything else now? That was good, dude. That was good.